guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ebony and I make videos on fashion and styling. So if you were into that kind of thing, then you should definitely, definitely stick around. Now today's video is going to be a Chloe inspired thrift haul. I'm going to have a few short clips of me thrifting and then I'm going to show you guys how you can get the look um, of Chloe from the items that you have in your wardrobe or if you're out thrifting I'm gonna show you guys like you know what to look for and I'm gonna style a few outfits for you so let's go ahead and get right into the video alrighty guys so Chloe Chloe is one of my favorite designers I always say if I was like could only shop from one designer brand or or if I had one that probably embodied my style the most, it would be Chloe. Um, I think it's the perfect mix of like relaxed, boho, um, interesting, and I just really love the color palette and I love that it's not all completely neutral, but we're gonna get into all of that. Um, the first thing I wanna say is if I had to classify uh, Chloe, the, the fashion house, as a, um, like as a style type, I would say Chloe is the original the OG boho chic. Um, it just is. It's when you think about boho chic and you're thinking about a designer, you're gonna go to Chloe. I feel like they're the ones who basically invented that look. <laughs> Pretty much just like bohemian flair, but like just really, really elevated. Um, so yeah, that's what I would classify the style as. Now, getting more into what you need to look for. So when it comes to colors for Chloe, their color palette is so yummy to me it's really really it's like cream brown that's a like signature color combo of chloe cream and brown um, and then they love to use um jewel tones and or pastels i feel like i don't really see a lot of um highly saturated colors uh or just really bright colors because jewel tones are saturated but you're not gonna have like a super super neon or something like that most of the time it's going to be like a deep rich jewel tone or a pastel um, and i think where the jewel tone comes in is really with the 70s um influences that you can see throughout most of chloe's shows i feel like 70s is just where they took a lot of their inspiration from. I think that most of the pieces are just like modernized shapes and colors and materials that they use a lot in the 70s. Um, so I think that's where the jewel tone side comes from. Another thing when it comes to Chloe, I saw a lot of mustard yellow, which is one of those jewel tones that we're talking about, but they use mustard a lot and like this really specific blue that I'll show you guys. Um, probably popping up right now. So that's one other thing I wanted to mention to you guys about color. Um, if you see anything in that shade of yellow or that shade of blue, chances are you could definitely turn it into a Chloe inspired look. I think the pastel really comes from just the fun feminine side of Chloe. I think they do an excellent job of mixing feminine with more um, like, they do a good job of doing feminine with that is very what, am I, what word am I looking for? It's not straightforward in your face. Like they may have the scallops, but I think it really comes into the billowiness of their items and that's how you get the femininity, which I think is really interesting. It's not your traditional like frills, etc. Even though they do have frills, but I just think they do a really good job of um, having a unique, unique take on femininity. And then they mix in that 70s structure and fun, which is another reason why I really, really love the brand. Uh, so again, for colors, we're gonna see cream and cream and brown. That's an easy way to get the Chloe look. Or I would stick to jewel tones or pastels. Uh, now with materials, this is another reason why I really love them because they love to juxtapose light, airy materials. So you know chiffon, um, silk, that kind of thing, and they always offset it with something a little bit more heavy. So you're gonna see like leather 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 <laughs> um fur mainly shearling i would say they do have some fur but i feel like shearling is the most like pointedly chloe so if that's if you're trying to get the chloe look i would go for shearling suede leather and then pair it with something that is so light and airy and just breezy like chiffon or um silk so i think those are the main materials i would be looking for when you're thrifting or you're going into your closet um, and then the tip is pair them together um because they offset each other which is a thing that i love about chloe they just have the perfect balance in all of their looks they're just very balanced um as a fashion house 
so that was that's what I would say for materials. For patterns, I feel like I don't see a lot of patterns. I feel like you definitely get patchwork. They use the materials to create the pattern. So it's not necessarily like a printed pattern on something, even though I'm sure they have that too. But I feel like if you're trying to have like the statement and it be immediately known that it's drawing from Chloe, it would be patchwork, whether that's patchwork suede, patchwork leather, um, that, and then again, that brings in that 70s influence as well. So I would look for, when it comes to pattern, I would look for patchwork. They also do a lot of scallops. Um, they basically made that so wide and popular. Like my, I have a pair of Chloe flats um, and that's one way that you know they're Chloe. Any Chloe shoe, you can kind of tell, I mean, I know other brands do it too, but that's a that's a staple of their shoes. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at my window and there's a cat just standing there. <laughs> um, okay, he's crossing the street. But anyway, <laughs> so they have the scallops. So a lot of their shoes will have the scallops, their sneakers, their um, platforms. Uh, which Chloe, I feel like, is the originator of the flat form. Like when you see those espadrilles that are flat, they're like chunky, flat, and then they have just a strap, kind of like gladiator espadrilles, but not quite like wedges. Chloe, I feel like, started that. So, um, but you can see all the different iterations of it um, in fast fashion or just from a lot of different brands. But I feel like it started there. Um, so scallops is a pattern and something that you see a lot. Um, really more in the construction and I would say patchwork is probably the main pattern and I've seen a little bit of really nice tie-dye not like super groovy tie-dye but more just like almost like watercolor type I think looks really good and I've seen it in a few Chloe shows but I'm thinking patchwork is the main pattern that you want to be going for or scallops kind of like look almost looks like a mermaid uh, but yeah Patrick, again, as I'm saying it. <laughs> um, and then details that you should look out for that I see a lot is definitely pleating. Um, so just pleated tops, pleated skirts, pleated everything, um, like little tiny pleats, not necessarily like um, pleats and pants, even though they do have them. But pleating, um, ruffles, so again, that's bringing in that femininity, like really big ruffles um, that almost look like waves or something like that. I think that's definitely a shape. They also have, when, when you're talking about like skirts, dresses, I feel like I mainly, mainly, especially recently, see like midi and maxi, which again, that brings in the boho influence as well. They do have mini, but I feel like nothing's ever too tight. Um, some of the really early shows, like early 2000s, they had these like super, super short little shorts, but I feel like for the most part, they have more billowy silhouettes. It's going to be like really, really relaxed, but those details like the pleating or um, just the structure of the item make it elevated and make it look more interesting, but it's never going to be like skin tight to your body. Um, so when you're out there looking, you want to look for things that are definitely probably a little bit more baggy or loose or flowy. Again, thinking of that boho type, and then you want to elevate it with either the material that they use a lot or with those little details like the ruffles or the pleating. Um, so yeah, as far as shapes go, that's what I would say. Another shape that you'll see a lot is the poncho. I feel like uh, poncho is just a very quintessentially Chloe thing. You see probably at least one poncho or cape in every single show. Um, and then also keep in mind fringe. Um, again, that's that 70s boho coming in and they do use a lot of fringe here and there in, out in their show. So that's something to definitely look out for too when you are in the stores or going to your closet. Now we're going to, I'm going to play the clips really quickly of my little, oh, I'm, a team. <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys a few clips of me at the thrift store. I really didn't get that much footage because the day that I went, apparently everybody and their mom and their great grandmother was out shopping. So I really didn't get a lot of clips, but I'll show you guys kind of what I got, a little bit of me in the store, and then we'll meet back here and I will show you guys the haul. So here I am just kind of going through the tops. I did find one. You can just see me sliding it over into my cart right there. Um, and then I did see these shoes when I was looking. I thought they worked really well with because they had little fringe. They were definitely in the color scheme. So um, we'll see if I took those home. I had a lot of stuff in my cart, so I was deciding between a lot. I found this cardigan and I really liked it's blue and it reminded me of Chloe because of the color and just the size of it. Um, here I am kind of going through the dresses trying to figure out 
they have anything i saw that i thought the pattern might be a little groovy um could go into that 70s vibe but i left it and then i saw this dress with a light tie dye like i mentioned earlier so i thought that that could really work especially with the ruffle and um the size of it Alrighty guys, um, like I said, I really didn't have that many clips, but let's get right into the items. The first thing that I have here is this dress. Again, when I saw it, I felt like it was so Chloe from the color. We've got cream, we've got a billowy silhouette. It's very boho with this like ruching and a little bit of ruffle going on. Um, the way that it just lays is just very, very Chloe. So um, I really enjoy this. The brand is Barbie Blue, says made in Korea. Not sure what that is, but this is the first item that I am showing you guys. I think it is so, so, so Chloe, and I will show you guys exactly how I style it now. Okay, so for this look, I started off with the thrifted dress. I added this vest to it, which is patchwork, which is one of the elements we talked about. Also, vests are really good to look for if you're trying to get the Chloe look. And then I have these little booties that have a little studs on them. They reminded me of the Susanna boots. A hobo bag to add in that extra boho flair. And then I ended up belting the vest just to give myself a little bit more shape. And I really love how this came out. I think it's definitely very boho, a little western, um, and I think it can could definitely fit in with those Chloe looks. My belt, bag, shoes, and vest are all thrifted. The shoes are BC, BG Girl, but again, like I said, they're thrifted. The first accessory that I have here is this hat, which just screams Chloe to me. Again, we've got the cream and the brown and the crochet, which is so Chloe. Um, that's another uh, detail to look for when you're thrifting is crochet because again, when you think of all the boho queens with money, Chloe, they're going to it and uh, crochet is such a boho staple. Um, and I've seen lots of crochet hats from Chloe, so I thought this would be really fun. Now, I don't wear hats a lot, so I'm interested to style this and see if I like it and if I can get into wearing hats. But I thought this was so Chloe when I saw it. Like, I can almost, like, if I don't look too hard, it's like I can almost see, like, the Chloe logo on this hat. But it's, it's not there. That's just my imagination. But the brand of the hat is actually... San Diego Hat Co. The next thing, I know we talked a lot about capes as jackets, but I feel like you can never go wrong with like a trench or a denim jacket that's um, kind of structured when you are looking for Chloe styled items. So I found this jacket, which really just screamed it to me. Um, and I'll show you guys exactly how I style, especially because I'm going to use a lot more of the elements and it will just bring it up super to to, it will just bring it up to a really Chloe inspired look. But I thought this, because it was tan, cropped, um, would go really, really well coming, trying to like get that look. So um, the brand is Worthington, and because it almost looks like a denim jacket, but then it's like a trench material. So I thought that was the perfect mix of Chloe things into one item. That's why I grabbed it. But I'll show you guys exactly how I style this now. So for this look, I started off with the Zara top that has a little pleating all over it, which you would see up close, and a ruffle detail around the wrist. I love this for this jacket because the jacket is like tight around the wrist, so I knew I could let the lace of this top peek out and it would be a really fun detail. I added the hat. Um, which I thrifted, my belt is thrifted, my jeans are thrifted, and my shoes are also thrifted, so is the bag. I actually, guys, am really into this hat, like, I, I don't know, I've never worn it, but it makes me happy, so <laughs> I think I'm definitely going to wear this out soon, it just really makes it such an outfit, I don't know. I really like the way the hat came out with this look, and I actually really like this look, so I'm excited to wear it at some point, maybe when it gets a little bit warmer and we're literally creeping our way into spring, but again, we have the elements of the pleating, we have that crop jacket, the trench jacket, and the crochet. This cardigan, again, I think this is really, it's just a really big, long, cable knit cardigan and again I think the main there's two things that drew me to this for Chloe and it's going to be this color 
because this blue is so prevalent in lots of closures. I feel like if they have blue, it's going to be this shade of blue, and I really like that. And of course, the knit and the big oversized fit of it, this just screamed boho to me. This is something that, again, you might pair with something more lightweight, um, and that would really give you the look of Chloe pairing this with something else um, lightweight. So I'll show you guys how I style this in a Chloe fashion coming right up. So for this look, I paired the cardigan with my maxi skirt from Subi that I got off the Real Real. I thrifted top, the sweater's thrifted, and my shoes are the brand Fit Flop, but they are also thrifted, and so is my bag. I really like the way that this came together. I think, again, we're playing on the more boho element with this, the way that the jacket fits, I mean the cardigan. We have those big ruffles from the top, and then we have those lace-up sandals, which I think are just so Chloe, so you pair it all together and you get a great look. Another thing I wanted to mention is shoes. I'm going to show you guys some shoes, but when it comes to Chloe and shoes, they have a lot of really iconic shoes. I already talked about like the scallops, but then you have the Susanna boots, I think, with the studs that everybody was wearing to Coachella. Everyone who had some money was wearing to Coachella in like 2014. Everyone knows about those boots. Um, I think clogs, um, studded boots, little booties. All of those things that are very either 70s or boho, those types of shoes are the ones that you want to be looking out for. And also lace up shoes, so like gladiator shoes that lace all the way up. I think again that's bringing in that really boho um, influence. How many times have I said boho in this video? But you can't talk about Chloe without talking about boho. So I think lace up sandals, like you would have seen in the last outfit, is another thing to look for if you're trying to get that Chloe look. But another pair of shoes that I found were these like pastel pink clogs which again screamed such Chloe to me just because again the clog style the pastel color and you do see pink quite often um, in this shade in Chloe shows these are Gianni beanie but I got them at Goodwill I got all this stuff at Goodwill so um, I'll show you guys exactly how I style these now so here's an example of the more feminine and bright side of Chloe. I have this really fun paisley printed top with a linen shirt over it, a belt with fringe because fringe is one of those details we're looking for, and then the clog shoes to end, add the extra 70s feelings to this look. Everything is thrifted. The top is a linen J. Crew top, vintage Gap jeans, thrifted belt, thrifted top, and thrifted shoes. I love how this one came out, and I'm actually probably going to wear that out to lunch at some point, especially once it gets really warm in the summer. Next thing is this brown shirt. So, like a camel brown and then a chocolate brown, like lining, and um, it's like a Henley style top. I grabbed this. Can you guess why? because it is 70s all the way. I can't wait to show you guys how I style this because it's just, I feel like it's just so Chloe. <laughs> but um, again, this brown and like a cognac brown with cream are like, I feel like are just the color scheme for Chloe. So anything that is like a tan, deep, rich brown, um, especially if it's like this and it has a super heavy 70s influence, I would pick up if you're trying to get that Chloe look. Um, this one doesn't have a brand in it, but the way it looks, I'm, I mean, I'm not sure. It just has a size, no brand. Um, but I'll show you guys how I style this up in a Chloe way now. This look is probably tied for my favorite with the look with the hat. I have these vintage Britannia jeans, which are actually from the 70s, with my thrifted top, thrifted belt, thrifted shoes. I also did thrift those jeans. I like was so excited when I found them. But anyway, I just love the way this came out. I love the way everything fits. It's definitely a 70s inspired look. Um, my shoes are BCBG Girl. They are thrifted as well. I added on my Blink NYC blazer in the dark cognac color just as another extra structure layer because you'll see that a lot in Chloe but I think this one is just such a classic Chloe look and I can't wait to wear this soon the next thing is this mustard yellow chiffon top with ruffle detailing around the neck and then also down the buttons that's three different things that are so Chloe the color mustard the ruffles and the chiffon material of this top it even has like slight crinkle like it's like a crinkly uh, material which kind of imitates those pleats that we talk about um, just in a way more su subtle uh, form but yeah I really really thought that this would be such a good piece for styling items that are Chloe inspired 
All right, so you guys have probably seen this item in a few of the looks already, but I'm going to show it now. It is this leather belt that is brown with cream contrast stitching. Again, so Chloe, just because of this color combination and that it's a leather belt. It is from Chico's Collection, which is actually one of my favorite brands. Um, I always joke and say I love Chico's. I know I'm not their target market at all, but hey, I love the I like their clothes. <laughs> um, but anyway, I got this belt because, of course, I mean, just look at it. If you're thinking about Chloe, you can't not pick this up if you see it. So I'll show you guys how I style that now if I haven't already. So in this look, I have my thrifted top, my shorts are thrifted, the boots are also thrifted, and then I have this anorak that I thrifted as well, so the entire look is thrifted. I really like how this one came out, it's such a good like spring look, and I feel like shorts with boots is definitely a Chloe thing, again that's bringing that boho, and then the classic color combo of the white and cream, and then one of the signature colors that I find all the time is mustard, so I feel like all of those elements paired together really make it Chloe. Alrighty guys, thank you so so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. I honestly, like I said at the beginning of the video, I feel like Chloe is the brand that is my style the most because it was so hard to narrow down these looks because these are just the things I thrifted for the thrifting Chloe inspired things, but just for my closet without thrifting anything, I have so many items that could have gone into this video. Um, but again, I just wanted to stick to the things that I thrifted. Um, it might be fun to do another um, inspired look but just for my closet just because i know i have so much that would fit into it but anyway please let me know which look was your favorite down below and if there are any other designers you would like to see me do a video like this on um i did i do have an instagram now for this account i post some outfit reels and outfit of the day type stuff on there so um you can check it out and give me a follow if you'd like and otherwise don't forget to like comment subscribe if you liked what you saw have something to say or just like to keep up with the rest of the styling videos that I'll be posting here. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.